Now, in the original mockup of our design, we wanted to have a nice fancy font for the part where we display our name. Now, how do we add a custom font to our project? Well, the first part is, of course, downloading and getting hold of a font. And the easiest way of doing that is simply heading to fonts.google.com. And the reason why is because all of these fonts here are free for commercial use. So no matter where you're using it on a website or, of course, in your Flutter app, you can use it without fear that somebody will come after you because of copywriting. So now you get to look through all of these fonts, around 900 of them, and decide which one do I like? What looks nice to me? Or if you're more of a designer and you know exactly what kind of category you're looking for, say a uh, display type of font, then you can uncheck all the other ones and find the one that you want. Now, the one that I'm going to use is something called Pacifico. And this is a font that looks a bit like handwriting. And it looks really pretty, um, especially when it's contrasted with a normal sort of sans serif font. So this is exactly what we're going to do. And in order to download it, we're going to select this font and we're going to hit the download button. Now we have a zip file. And once you unzip it, then you can see that here's the font, the TTF file format. And here is the license that allows you to use it for commercial use. In order to add this to our project, we're going to do a little bit more dragging and dropping. Again, inside my project, I'm going to create a new directory called fonts. And here, if I have more than one font, I'm going to drop them all in here. So I'm going to drag my Pacifico and drop it into fonts and hit OK. And we're going to add the file to Git as well. And you can see that in the preview, it shows us what this font looks like. It looks pretty beautiful. And we're going to use it to reformat our font for our text widget here. So again, we have to go into our pubspec.yaml. And in addition to assets, we're also going to have some fonts. Now, previously, before we deleted all the comments, you might remember that there was a comment about how to add custom fonts. And they even point you towards a part of the documentation where it talks about how to use custom fonts. So if you head over to this address, then you can see that it takes you to this page that tells you all about how you can use custom fonts in your project. And we've already imported our font files. So now all we have to do is declare the font in the pubspec.yaml. And the reason why I'm taking you over here is because the YAML file indentation is super important and it's really easy to get it wrong. So instead, what I recommend is just to simply copy all the parts that you need. We've already got the part that says Flutter because we already have some assets in it. And then we're going to hit copy and we're going to go back and we're going to paste it right underneath here. So now you can see our fonts is indented by two spaces from our Flutter settings. And then inside our fonts, we've got our font family and we've got our fonts and we've got our font asset. So now all we need to do is to change the family to the name of our font family, which in this case is Pacifico. And then we're going to change the location of our asset, which is inside a folder called fonts and it's called pacifico-regular.ttf. So I can change this word Pacifico and that's all we need to do. And this is more of a foolproof way of getting our fonts loaded up into our project. And when we run package.get, you should see that everything in here is black and white. But if we had an indentation issue, then when we run this, you might get some errors like this telling you that this part here where it says fonts, it's not what I expected. So indentation matters a lot. And the easiest way of getting this right is to actually just copy it from the source. This makes it so much less error prone. So now that we've got our Pacifico font loaded into our project, from now on, we can refer to it by this name that we specify here. So the Pacifico font family. So let's go back into our main.dart. And for the style property of our text, we're going to also update its font family. 
And here we can specify the name that we typed into the pubspec file, which was Pacifico with a capital P. And now that I've added in our new resource, we actually have to rebuild our project from cold. So I had to hit stop and then hit play so that it links up all the necessary things that we need. And you can see that our new font gets added in and it looks great. It looks a lot better than the default font that we had to begin with. So now as a challenge, I want you to apply what you just learned and create the next part of our user interface, which is a piece of text still in our column that describes your role. So it could be a Flutter developer, project manager, product manager, designer, whatever it may be, but you're going to make it all caps and you're going to change the font to something called Source Sans Pro and you can find it on Google Fonts. Try and pause the video and apply those changes so that we can update the next part of our business card. All right, so we're just gonna do exactly what we did previously. We're gonna add our Source Sans Pro to our selection and then we're gonna download it so that we have access to it locally. And then we're gonna unzip that file. Once you've extracted it and you can see all the different types, we're actually just gonna drag in the Source Sans Pro regular and we're gonna drop it into our fonts folder. And then we're gonna click OK to move it and we'll be able to see an excerpt of what it looks like. So now we can go into our pubspec.yaml and we can copy what we did for the Pacifico font family and we can paste it right below, but at the same indentation level where the family is. So now essentially what we're saying is that for the custom fonts that we want to use in our Flutter app, there are two families. One is Pacifico and the other is going to be Source Sans Pro. And we can change the asset location to Source Sans Pro dash regular and just check to make sure it's the same spelling. And now if we go ahead and click on packages.get, we'll be able to pull in those files to use in our main dot dot. Right below our previous text widget, we're gonna add our next text widget. And this one is simply going to say your job title. So it could be, I don't know, Flutter developer, or it could be um, designer, whatever it may be. And then we're going to set the style to a text style that uses the font family that we named just now, which was called Source Sans Pro. And it's really important that this part has to match exactly what you wrote here. So including all the spaces and the upper and lower casing. So you're essentially referring to something inside the fonts with a family name of Source Sans Pro and by linking it up previously, we already told it that this is where that font resides and where it should look to. But now that we've added in our font family, the rest of it, it's really up to you how you want to style it. Personally, for me, I'm going to change the color to a light teal. So I'm going to go into colors and then I'm going to go into teal and then I'm going to specify maybe the 100 shade. Now, you might have noticed that there's lots of ways that you can do this. So when I write teal and my little dock pops up, you can see that there's teal from 50 all the way down to all the way down to 900. And that's kind of the dark or deepness of the shade. But instead of adding in the square brackets, I can also just write a dot and specify my shade. As in, if I want shade 100, then I can just simply do that. So this is what we've got so far. And the font's a little bit too small for my eyes. I think I'm getting a bit old. Can't actually see it that well. So I'm gonna increase the font size to maybe a 20 point size. And I'm also going to change something called letter spacing. So this property will determine how much space there is between each of the letters in the word. And I'm gonna say maybe 2.5. So a lot of these things you can have a play around with it and see how it looks to you. I think one last thing that I would do to this is I would probably make the font weight bold. And that will probably make it look 
just how I would like it. The styling is of course up to you, but this lesson is all about making sure that you've understood how to incorporate custom fonts into your Flutter app and how we can use the pub spec to specify what our font is called and where it is located inside our project and then using packages.get to grab it. Now, if you had any problems with indentation, be sure to take a look at this file over here and just notice that every single indent is actually two spaces and it's two spaces from the left and it's two spaces for every child. Now, this is really important. So if you have any errors when you run it, this is the first thing to check. I'll include this file as a download for this lesson, just in case you mess up all the indentations and you just want a quick way of fixing it. In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at how we can add icons that are ready made and ready to go into our app. So for all of that and more, I'll see you on the next lesson.